Welcome back. Um, hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Uh, since you've made it this far, I guess it's safe to assume that you're actually finding some level of value in the content I release. And if so, please consider clicking the subscribe button and turn on notification as well so that you are aware whenever I release a new video. All right. And apart from that, it will also be really helpful if you can just, you know, smash the like button. And well, yeah, that's it. So uh, let's get back to today's video. Um, today we're going to be creating the landscape, so um, the chef's special, all right? Pretty much going to do the same thing we've done in the past two videos. So head over to the custom views and the collection view cells, and we're going to create a new group, and we're going to call this dish, um, so landscape, and this is collection view cell, just like that. Then uh, just hold down Command N, Coco Touch class, and this is going to be dish landscape collection view cell we also have to include the nib so go ahead and click next and then create awesome so now we have that let's go ahead and implement the design great so um, let's actually oh well let's leave it open for now so what we're gonna do this is a landscape so let's just drag this like that all right so the first thing we're going to do as usual is we're going to add a UI view right in there. And we're going to add constraints 0, 0, 0, 0. And then we're going to add a width of about 330. And uh, for the height, let's give, let's chill for a little bit. We're going to add an image view right here. And we're going to give this guy a width and a height of about 64, I guess. 64. Nope. What am I doing? Great. And we're going to add constraints to 16, 16, and then 16 right here. Awesome. So we can go ahead and increase. Right? Increase. Let me see. So this guy has 16, 21. So um, we're going to need how many? Nope, that's, what am I doing? Well, easily, just so 14, right? So um, that's two pixels more. So we're going to go over to the height and just add two. So it's going to be 96 and it should be good. Perfect. Next, we're going to add a stack view, a vertical stack that we're going to use to add some um, labels. And this one we're going to do a little bit different. We want this guy to have a top and a bottom to this guy. So we want it to be the same height, essentially. And then we're going to add constraints to, well, we can make this like 8, I guess, and make this guy 16. Sweet. All right. Actually, let me see. Well, let's make this 68. No particular reason, but um, I guess just so it matches our demo. All right. So I just added two. So, oh, four rather. So this is going to be 100. What? Did I get the math wrong? Let me see. So this is 12, 16. Yeah, that's four. So click over here. Four. Yeah, that should be 100. Right. Perfect. So, um, yeah, the next thing we're going to do is to add our labels right into our stack view. So we have three of them. So just duplicate that one more, just like that. Okay, let me make sure that it is in the stack view. So one of them is not. And great. Awesome. So next, what we're going to do over here is, okay, let's grow this guy. So what we're going to do for the first element, let's actually give this guy equal spacing. And I, I think maybe the spacing here is too small. So I'm going to click on the stack view and click on it again. And let's make this guy 16, actually. So 16. Yeah, I think the spacing is better. And for the stack view, we're going to make it equal spacing. So click over here and distribution is going to be filled equally. All right, so you can see that the error went out. All of them are going to have the same space. All right, so for this guy, we're going to make it like uh, 19, and uh, let's make the font a 
I'll increase the font weight. Are you going to come up, my friend? Okay, so uh, I'm just going to use semi bold or medium. Uh, let's use semi bold. And for this guy, we're going to make it like um, 14 should be good. And this bad boy over here, let's make it like 12. So this is going to be the number of calories. So just make this the red. Then this is going to be our um, description. So we're going to make that the same color as the system gray. Yes. And this is going to be black. All right. So the next thing we want to do is to um, create the outlet to our class. So the first one is our image view. And we're going to call this dish image view. Next, we have our title. It's going to be called title label. Then we have our description label. And finally, we have the calories label. Perfect. So now we have our um, outlets right there. The next thing I'm going to do is to add, um, well, make this guy an aspect fill and then add corner radius to it. All right. Okay. Then finally, our card view is going to need to add, have a shadow. So I'm just going to make this conform to card view. All right, so um, the next thing we're going to do over here, well, let's actually head over to the class itself, and we're going to need to add the identifier. So this is going to be static let identifier, and this is going to be equal to, oh, wow, see what I did here. Well, typos happen, and I hope you didn't make the same mistake. No. All right, so this, um, we can go ahead and just do string describing or as we did in the last video, you can simply just add that as a um, as a regular string, right? It's totally up to you. So now we need to set the reuse identifier by going back in here and select this bad boy, get over here, and voila. All right, so we are all set up. So next, we're going to need to implement our setup function. So to do that is very simple sure you know that this is going to be dish and is going to be of type dish so over here we're gonna say the um, dish image view dot image or kf instead dot set image and this is gonna be dish dot image as URL next we're gonna set the title label text and this is going to be dish the uh, name I believe sweet then we have the description label dot text is going to be equal to dish dot description and uh, next we have calories label dot text and remember from the last video this is going to be equal to dish dot formatted calories perfect so this is all we need for our setup the next thing we're going to do is to actually implement this design in our home screen, right? So head over to your home view controller and um, right here we're going to just implement our test data source, right? And we're going to call this um, specials. This is going to conform to dish and is going to be equal to an array of dishes. So for this particular example, we're just we're simply going to use two, all right? And um, we're going to have, what should we use as the specials? Um, plantain, our fried plantain. I like it. Um, this is my favorite. All right, this is my favorite dish. And... Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, beans. Ah, beans and gari. That's another awesome, awesome meal. Nigeria, at least. So um, this is the best I ever tasted. Well, leave that. So we have this again. Just leave the calories like that. So um, as you probably guessed, 
we're gonna need to register that as well so right here we're gonna say um, oh we don't have access to that so we're gonna need to head over to our main storyboard and create an IB outlet for our third collection view so just click right here hold down control click and drag it right here and I'll call this specials collection view yep. and don't forget to do your data source this time I'm gonna use code just so that you see that it works maybe I've been lying all along so um, yeah we head back to our um, home view controller and we need to register this guy so I'm gonna say um, specials so I'm gonna say specials collection view dot re well I'm extremely lazy man I'm just gonna copy this alright let's copy the register and paste that over here and we're gonna change this to our landscape so landscape collection view cell copy this and paste this over here and actually I would really love to change this but um, I don't want it to mess with some of the connections we have there are times when doing a refactor like this may or may not affect the Xcode stuff and I just don't want to have to recreate it so that's why I'm trying so hard to disregard this thing it's it's messing me up anyhow if you want to you can go ahead and change this so you can just click uh, this refactor rename and it's going to show you every instance of that and you can simply rename but like I said I don't want it to cause any kind of um, uh, what's the word damage to the references that's gonna cause me to recreate the view right it's just me being lazy right so you can just do this and rename it may go well for you it may not so well we're gonna have to remove the extra dot and then this should be okay so this is registered to the special collection view cell so we're gonna need to add that over here as well so we have a new type and this is specials collection view and what do we want to return? We want to return specials.count. All right. Then right here as well, we could have another case. We could have another case. And this is going to be specials collection view. And what do we want to do here? We're going to create a new cell by dequeuing our collection view. Dot, uh, DQ reusable identifier. Uh, reusable cell with identifier rather and this is going to be this bad boy dot identifier and this is going to be index path as this here we simply return and don't forget to configure your or set up your view by passing uh, specials and index path dot row now if we run this is everything going to display properly if you said yes then you are wrong so let's run it and see if you are right or wrong actually but there's something we missed and I'm hoping you didn't Ah, so we have our view loaded, but we cannot see any of the data. Do you know why? Uh, it's simply because we didn't set the delegates, or rather, the data source, actually. So the data source simply specifies the number of rows and the cells and all of those things, and we didn't set it to self. So remember, we have two ways you can do that in the storyboard, or you can do that here. So for this particular example, I want to do that in this particular um, uh, what's it called? Class. So in my view to load, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, specials collection view dot data source. And this is actually all we need for now. We're going to use the delegates when we want to add like tap gestures. But in most cases, we always or we most times use both of them or just set both of them. So yeah, I'll just show you that this alone is essential or is enough to make this guy work. All right, so then uh, we're going to add the tab later. All 
All right, perfect. So you can see that we have both uh, these cells loaded. So, and this, as I said, was enough to do that. We simply add <coughs> the delegates whenever we want to maybe add some more um, delegate uh, functions, just like we did tap, for example. So I'm just going to add that just so we don't forget when we want to add tap gestures to that. And um, next, you notice that it was scrolling uh, vertically, so we want to change that to a horizontal scroll. And also, we want to add padding, just like we did we did in the um, previous videos. So we have our chef specials selected. We're going to go over here and check uncheck both of these guys. And um, we're going to change the scroll direction to a horizontal scroll. And we're going to head over to this guy. And actually, I'm going to leave both of these guys. If I were to set this guy to zero, <clears throat> I'm going to have to double this one, just like we did in the last two videos, I believe. But for now, I'm just going to leave the spacing as 10 and line as 10. And for the left, I'm going to make that 20. For the right as well, I'm going to make that 20. And hmm, is there something else we're missing? I don't think so. So let's run this and let's see if everything works well. Actually, I remember what we missed. Um, we forgot to remove the clips to clips to bound, I believe. Yep, clips to bounds. And also, we're going to need to remove that in our design, in our landscape design right here. So click on this and uncheck. So everything should be good right now. Perfect. So now we see the chef specials. And we see both of them with the spacing like this, like this, everything properly aligned. We have our text. And um, let's actually rotate the device and see if everything still looks good. Perfect. Everything still looks good. All right. So um, before we end this video, there's something I want to you know, correct. It still looks good. And I'm referring to the shadow. So we have the shadow very slim. I want to make it a little bit broader. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to our um, card view. And right here, I'm either going to add or, well, we can leave the corner radius. So I'm just going to say layer dots. And this time, what we want is shadow radius, right? And we're going to set this to 10. So this is going to make it, um, well, just, just look at what it does. It's going to make it a little bit broader, a little more spread. All right, all right. So this this looks this looks way better. It looks better, I guess. All right, perfect. So guys, this brings us to the end of this video, and um, in the next video, we're gonna work on the detail page. So when you click on this um, uh, video, when you click on a particular cell for popular and chef special, it's gonna take you to the full detail of that. Um, dish, right? See you guys in the next video.